Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some Naya Humans, but mainly we are taking a solve deck and adding a couple of cards in from the new set to kind of see how they go, see if they're definitely worth splashing for. And one of them most definitely is, and that's Cavern of Souls, as you can tell. Cavern of Souls over here is a nice line that we get. It makes our creatures uncounterable. Everything in this deck besides Skrelv is a human. So this comes in and works out very well for playing against control. We make all their counter spells literally do nothing until they feel to ruin this. And even then we already have enough pressure on the board to win that way. But also we are adding this. I do not know how to pronounce it. If somebody wants to do the like English spell out thing in the comments, please feel free to, but I can't do it. Um, whenever you attack with one or more non gnome creatures, so this counts itself, put a 1 1 counter on it, and then it creates X 1 1 colorless gnome creatures tapped and attacking along with it. Where the number of 1 1 counters on this, I could definitely see maybe playing this in maybe a counters matter deck or like playing the other humans that kind of put counters on other creatures and going from there. But I wanted to start out small and kind of just splash it in, not go over the top especially if you already have this deck it's a lot easier to kind of implement these cards in instead of having to craft a whole new gruel dinos deck for example but we are going to hop into the games i hope you all enjoy and if you do please be sure to subscribe i truly appreciate it and let's just get out there look at first and what a, what a weird hand there's our colorless land i think we can maul that we have better we'll keep with we'll our out of line back i suppose Lead off with Plaza, play Skrell. Blue red. Probably more than blue red if I had to guess. Maybe it's not. Well, I'm getting I'm getting the old wombo combo, I suppose. Pass here. Only real problem is we don't necessarily have a creature that we'd like to. T oh, well, now we do. All right. I guess we'll play another plaza here. Play out of line. Add a lean. Back here. Never. Ah, create a treasure token until in a turn. You may look at the top card library anytime. Play land spells. Stuff of that nature. They don't have three power of toughness here. No, they do. These have words on them and phrases and things. I don't really know what they do. Uh, I mean, I guess give it protection from that. I would like Adeline's ability to work. Maybe they bounce it or something. I'm going to say, I had to... Maybe they were counting on me not to read this. That's a lot of text and it just takes our ability away. Uh, I will give you a smiley face, even though your client's been real buggy today. Well, I swear I play one drop somewhere. We'll keep playing it. You gotta go. Blue. We play cavern for a reason, but let's get Thalia down. Anytime I see a blue source, I'm instantly on the Thalia plan. I I'll keep playing Plaza. Mm, probably should have played that, but it'll be all right. We got a lot of the pressure in that we kind of want. This up. Maybe they'll have counter spell for it. Probably should have played Malira. Yeah, we led right into that. Kind of tried to buy it back, I guess. We had cavern. We were fine. This is an ETB, so we let it go. They make this appear, we'll pay it, and then we'll just have a three one in play. Sure. Okay. Back for seven. All right, go ahead. Human. Play Malira here. Combat. 
guess I probably didn't have to play Malira. Although these are neither of these are legendary, so not quite work the way we'd want. Graveyard, fading hope that back. Sure. Take your four damage. Make it as awkward as possible. I'll play back Thalia. We add more. Talarian Terror. Probably another Talarian Terror if I had to guess. Fruit. Okay, oops, because they meant to do that beforehand. Then play it for cheaper. Um, surprised to see Mono Blue. What? Um. We go first here. We have Skrelv on one. We have Ruby and then maybe Helena on three. So we'll keep. We'll see how it goes. It seems likely that we'll get it all kind of sorted out here. But hey, Maul. Get it back. We will lead off with Skrelv. Maybe they'll remove Skrelv. Very possible. Lead off Plaza. Not let them really know that we're just humans here. So. I think I didn't make that mistake. I really did almost rip that pass. We're going to try to get our board big with Helena. This kind of tells us that they're probably just in fact flash for Xion, although this is not looking great. Yeah, just just for Xion, not necessarily the ladder where they play Rot Priest and they target with a bunch of spells. Can I stop drawing lens? I keep doing this, which is that. I'm not even playing that many lands. We'll play Helena. We'll put it here just to make that big on its own. We'll use Skrelv to protect. They do play three drops that kind of exile, not Brutal Cathar, but I can't think of his name right now. There's a Duelist. It does have First Strike. There's a Thalia card coming in to kind of help us out. A uh, human. Could play Thalia and attack with it because this will buff it as well. Realistically, we can just we can ask them if they want to race and go for it. These two are definitely going in. That's for sure. Now, do I attack with Helena or not? They they can triple block, I guess. But the way that'll deal damage automatically and then they'll have enough to kind of squeak through. We'll have it hit and hit. Then three damage would hit. Same way, I guess, with Thalia here, but with Thalia, I don't really care that much. This. This is a 5-6, so not really that worried about it. Allow us to get a little bit of damage in. We'll hit that. They'll make a might. The might cannot block. Now he's going to put pressure on, so they're not going to be able to make the duelist too large, per se. And they concede. They miss land drop. Sure. Go first. We have Skrelv in the Ruby into Adeline, so it's probably fine because we have a cavern here to give everything hexproof or not hexproof, but uncounterable. Want to bet he's red? Your name's Sweaty Neckbeard and you're playing Oko. You do just play band stuff. Oh. I'm going to play a Cavern of Souls. I'm going to play Ruby. I'm going to attack with Ruby. Um, I'm actually going to play this down instead of Adeline because it kind of gets this same job, but I would rather get this picking up where Adeline can kind of come in and it'll just be bigger. Two mana, do you think they have Counterspell in hand? How about trigger? We have Skrull to protect. If Ruby is what ends up dying here, I'll let it go. I'd rather protect this. But... As we can see, we have a control mage, kind of 
having a cavern come down and make all the counter spells worthless if they are actually truly on control we haven't confirmed that yet temporary lockdown that's fine Just gonna eat a bit of our stuff here this is a non-gnome creature this itself is not a gnome so Just, i would have to die Could play Initiate plus Malira. Nah, I think we play out of line. Our board state is going to get quite rapidly big here. Just like that, we have lethal lined up. One plan I probably wanted to play Malira. Is that revelry? That's fine. We can brutal cathar one of these out of the way since it's also a human. Do I play around the populate or not? Gain so much life too. Um, I would like Malira to be uncounterable. Then attack. I think if they sunfall me, I just insta die. Kind of feels like it. Comes. Sunfall. I think they're fist pumping right now. Or it's a tap land. Is it tranquil groove? Sure. Um, let's grow. Attack. This is gonna make this is gonna make Adeline insane. Almost make Adeline lethal on its own. What one mana spell do you have? I'll switch tonight. Sure. Okay. As you can see, I really hope those are four counter spells and Cavern just didn't let him play it. That's like the craziest part. I've been playing Magic today. Besides every glitch bug and everything else that's been happening to me today. But I've just played against so much control. And I'm just like, I'm just going to play a deck with Cavern in it. Just not let them counter any of my spells. And that's been a big theme on the day. Or I guess... Maybe this will be good enough. Hmm. Not feeling like it's going to be good enough. The brush land. Kind of hide that we might be auras. But no. It's not really going to do much to help us in that regard. Play Plaza. Realistically. Over for a throw. It's probably what they got in hand. So let's play Thalia. Kind of shut that off. Cut down's obviously possible, but I don't think it is. We see Miss Land Drop here. Now we get to kind of punish. Let's play Ruby. Let's play Copper Coat. Let's attack. Getting in there very aggressively. Um, ending what they do, which isn't much. We had a much slower hand. Or is off control playing roughly anywhere between 26 28 lands plus a couple of creatures that get them lands unable to find one i think if they had a two lander it's probably a reasonable keep on their end all right we got some post game wrap up here to kind of talk about things that i like things i didn't like um a little bit of it is i think the main feature of the deck is probably just better in a Boros shell playing a couple of things like Charming Scoundrel or something like that to get the aggro on early. I think maybe doing something where this is at a four of and then we have like Charming Scoundrel in here followed by this creature can be like really strong stars and then have this also in that gap as well with Thalia. Just have those as my drops here. Obviously Intrepid Adversary alone is really good. Malira is really good and Ruby's real good. But I think if we are truly trying to get super aggressive, we want to be 
pivoting into Boros. I think this card has proven today that it is strong enough to carry the weight with Adeline in that spot. Just kind of playing these as these, like play these in this spot and maybe have these Skrelves all squared up and whatever go along with that. Who's to really know? But I do think playing this and like Godric in a shell or even like the Ash Party Celebrant and kind of playing that Celebrate Party with this card is definitely plausible because when this enters and you attack, it makes a token just like Adeline instead of having to use something like a Squee, which is kind of tough because you do have to attack with that. You can get Godric to trigger once or like the Ash Party to trigger once. And then you are running into a lot of problems where this card and Adeline have been really nice in those spots instead because of how valuable they are when they're not even attacking. The other part that this gets a little bit bonus points over Adeline in my opinion and I would definitely in this regard do this. I don't have the fourth one for whatever reason but I would rather do that because this makes more than one token. Now itself doesn't necessarily get as big as Adeline does in that situation but this growing over and over and over and over again or getting extra counters put on it with something whether we're playing a different deck or we have helena come in here target this well it just makes it grow so much faster like helena coming down entering and then putting two counters on this attacking it'll have three counters on it it'll make three gnomes and they're all kind of attacking and getting benefited as well so it's definitely weird. We we'll definitely have to kind of adjust. I think I do think Boros is just better in kind of getting rid of maybe some of this action and focus on narrowing it down and playing a little bit of a tighter list. Other than that, I think it performed well. Uh, we lost some matchups just because it was just like Mono Red or Domain just sunfalled us. And I kind of cut them because I wanted to try to feature what the deck was good at. And it kind of happened after recording and whatever. Like, I recorded a session and then I recorded a session later. This is now later, later. But I just went ahead and removed the second session because I didn't play against anything new. I just, it was mono red, mono red, domain, domain, mono red. Like, we played against that stuff enough. I wanted to play against. Some of the new cards and new decks and kind of playing around those some of them were a little unfortunate we've seen a couple of people get taxed out and we saw this card perform very well today but other than that i'm also on very short term notice like i got a big week if you don't know the apex gaming invitational is happening and that is a store i work for as you can't tell i wear apex in every video but we are having a $20,000 modern paper tournament that will be streamed this weekend of November. Uh, whatever this weekend is. November 15th is today, which is Wednesday. Um, so November, like, I don't know if we're streaming all days. A little bit weird, but the weekend of the 15th, 17th, 18th, 19th. Those days, those are the days. But this is 20K, there are CQs, there are big tournament events. We're trying to work on getting some other special stuff attached to it, but they'll be live on Twitch and then the videos will be posted after in a couple of days, if so, because we wanna make sure they get edited correctly. But yeah, so I got pretty big like plans at my actual job. So if the videos are a little bit shorter, I do apologize for that, but it is just kind of gonna be what it is. But other than that, I do like the deck. I do like the addition of the new Boros card that we've added. Also, I <sighs> love Cavern of Souls. We, we made the Control Mage squirm. Somewhere, somewhere all the Control Mages are having a fever and a flu. Every time their opponent plays a Cavern, they can no longer counter their spell. But that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.